Hi, everyone, my friends, how are you today? Okay, today you can see something on the whiteboard, look at carefully. The lesson today, I'm gonna tell you what the difference between preposition and conjunction. So, it's not a string lesson, and I think that um, this lesson can help you, even though it a lot, but can have you small idea or some idea that can make you be clear about preposition and conjunction. What are the difference? So, when we talk about preposition and when we talk about conjunction, uh, sometimes if we don't think a lot, maybe feel a little bit confused, both of them, because sometimes preposition can use as conjunction. You know, we um, it just has different part of speech. Only one word can be pure part of speech. So when you look at about preposition and conjunction, sometimes preposition and conjunction are confused by English learners that we see sometimes we say this word as preposition, but sometimes we see this word as conjunction. So what are the difference when we think about this? So today just let you see a small part and simple ways that you can learn with me and let you know what is preposition and what is conjunction. What is preposition, my friends? Preposition, we talk about type of words that used to tell us where something or preposition, we use those words to connect or to link um, with noun, pronoun, or phrase. Again, preposition, we use to talk about where something is or we use to connect or link with noun, pronoun, or phrase, like this. Let you look at examples. You see number one, I am at work. You see, I am at work. So this one is preposition, at. You know, this one, is preposition at. So I am at work. So why do we know ah, at, at tell us know about where something is? Like at in here mean tell you know where am I? You get it? Where am I? So I am at at work. So work is, is noun that, that use link by preposition. I am at work, so at tell about place where am I now? Number two. You step on my my foot. So you see, on is preposition. You step on my my feet. So on is preposition. You get it? So what what do you step on? So so you step on my my feet. Uh, you are stepping on my feet now. So on on something. Okay, on something on my feet. You are step on my feet now. Like that. Okay, number three. They are running into into a cave. You see, they are running into a cave. Okay, this one a phrase. A cave a phrase. So I can I can tell you this one a a phrase. Yes. So into a preposition tell us to know where are they running. Okay, where are they running into? So they are running into a cave. So into here mean tell us to know where they are running to, into. Okay, tell us to know where are they running into. How about number four? You see, he goes out of room. So, preposition and this one, noun. Yes, so noun, stand up to preposition, mean tell, where does he go? He goes out of room, like that. So out of, tell us to know where does he go, like that. Okay, so as you see, the first one, Preposition tell us to know where something is. Like tell tell you know where am I? Tell you know uh, what do you step on? And tell you know where are they running into? And tell you know where does he go now? Okay. So you look at all of this word up to preposition. You see, you see, yes. Like this one noun. Okay, work noun. And my food noun phrase. Okay, you you can call phrase or. You can noun phrase, it phrase, exactly it noun phrase, like room noun, okay? A cave also phrase, noun phrase. You get it? Okay, move your feeling to um, the next one about conjunctions. So you see conjunction. 
what is conjunction and why do we learn about conjunction okay so uh, the way that I, I want to show everyone to know preposition and conjunction because two of them are really different to use so when you know preposition you also you, you should also know about conjunction because two of them even though sometimes we see only one word can be a preposition and conjunction because of it part of speak exactly how to use them also different not the same so see conjunction we used to tell more information to to clause or to to sentence you see clause mean, means sentence another one to connect the clause you know we use conjunction just to connect with with clause okay so preposition we used to connect with noun pronoun and phrase but conjunction not noun pronoun or phrase we use conjunction to link with clause or send sentence okay so clauses exactly conjunction we use all of those words to link or to connect clause and clause. Another one, sentence and sentence. You got it? So look at my example. Number one, you want it, but you didn't buy. Okay, so you see, this one, it is conjun conjunction. You see, about more, tell us, tell us to know more information to, to clause. So exactly, I, I use this, this clause to tell more information to, to this. You wanted it, but you didn't buy. You didn't buy. So, but you didn't buy, I used to give more information to, to it. You want it. I, I, want, I want that phone, but I didn't buy because I didn't have enough money to buy that phone. Okay, this one we call conjun conjunction. Okay, conjunction. Yes, he is meeting his friend who used to study with with him. He's meeting his friend who used to study with with him. So you see, where is conjunction? This one. I call conjunction, correlative conjunction, subordinate or subordinating conjunction. So you will know for the next video, I will tell you which one is coordinative conjunction which one is subordinate in conjunction but just know that this one we also call conjun conjunction because we use conjunction to link with with sen sentence okay this one conjunction okay so two sentence exactly he made his his friend so this sentence this sentence i used to give more information to his friend okay to his friend who who is his friend so a friend who used to study with with him give, just give more informa information Yes, so this, this sentence we call adjective clause, exactly. Yes, number three, if you come here, okay, if you come here, I won't be angry, you see. So where, where is conjunction? I, I, I don't see conjunction, but just see comma, conjunction over here, okay. If also conjun conjunction, yes, exactly. After conjunction, we see sen sentence. You come here, kitty sen sentence, yes. It is sentence or or clause. It is sentence or clause. So after if you see after if I use clause. You come here. It is an sentence. And this one man man clause. Okay. So the sentence we call complete sen sentence. Exactly. We use this conjunction if to give more information to man clause. Yes. I won't be. I won't be angry you if you if you come come here. Okay. Just give more information to the man clause. I won't be angry you. But if you don't come to join my birthday, I will be angry you. Okay? Yeah, like this. So this one is conjunction. And number one, we call compound sentence. Okay? Number two, we call um, complex sentence. And number three, we also call complex sentence. So you get it, everyone? I hope you understand. What are different between preposition and conjunction, you see? Yeah, like preposition, we used to talk about where something is, or we used to tell about where something is. We use preposition to link noun, pronoun, or phrase, and we use conjunction to tell more information or to give more information to to man clause or to another clause. Okay, and we use conjunction to connect sentence and sentence. Okay, like this a short idea. Do you understand? Yes. So let you move to. Um, nine examples okay you can practice with me you see all of this yes I keep from number one to number five it is simple sentence from number six to number nine it is it is um, compound sentence or complete sentence that we use conjunction to to link two sentences together so number one he sat on the on the chair so you see this one is preposition that I want to tell you where did he 
sit. Okay, where did he sit? He sat on the, the chair. So this one, you see, up to prep position, you see phrase. Okay, this one we call phrase. Exactly noun, noun phrase. Number two, she was sitting under a, a tree. So where is preposition? Everyone, you see, this one is preposition under under a tree. Yes, she was sitting under a, a tree. So this sentence, if you want to know where is preposition, you can see the preposition, this one, because this sentence, preposition under means tell us to know where was she sitting. Yes, she was sitting under a tree. Number three, I bought some book and pen. You see, where is preposition? Here one, exactly, and, you see? And this one, and, preposition, and after and, you see noun, okay? You see noun, this one noun, yeah, noun, pen, after preposition, noun, we plus noun and noun, noun link with, with noun. Ask about one, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this one, also noun, noun phrase, okay? Also noun phrase, a tree, get it? Okay, I hope you understand well. Number four, this car belongs to Sreitoy. Okay, this car belongs to Sreitoy. So which one is preposition, everyone? You see, preposition is to. To, to Sreitoy. Sreitoy is, is noun. Yeah, you see? This car belongs to Sreitoy. So to tell us about this car belong to whom? Whose car, you know, whose car belongs? Number five. He thinking of of you. So which one is preposition? You see, of, of it is preposition, and after of you see, what is it? Noun or pronoun? Exactly, it pro pronoun. Okay, pronoun. I, um, I would like to write for yeah for pronoun. Yes, he is thinking of thinking of you. So you is pronoun, and after you you see before you you see preposition. So after of it is pronoun. Okay, from number six to number nine, let you see about two sentences combined together. Number six, I wanted to go to the beach, but she didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. You see, I wanted to go to the beach, but she didn't. So, you see this one we call compound sentence because you see conjunction but here. You see, this one is sentence and this one also send sentence, okay? Uh, number seven, she'll be late to work for she stays far away. Okay, so where is, where is conjunction? You see where is conjunction? Exactly this one for conjunction. So for it can be preposition also. When you see, you see noun, when you see pronoun, or when you see phrase after four, four is preposition. But in the example after four, you see sentence. So it is not preposition. It must be conjun conjunction. So four in here mean be pickers. Okay? Four mean be pickers. She'll be late to work for, she stays for far, far away. Yeah, far away. You get it? And number eight, my dog, Back loudly when the doorbell the doorbell rang. Okay, when the doorbell rang. So this one is conjun conjunction. Okay, conjunction. It's not uh, too much hard to know that this type of sentence. I think it's very easy for all of you if you watch from my my previous video and to this. I, I think that it's easy to learn one by one or step by step. Okay, number nine. I don't go there because I've been to there once. Okay. I don't go there because I've been to there once. Or one time already I used to go to visit there. So, conjunction here is be because. You see, after because, you see, after because means because plus sentence. And this one also sentence. So, two sentences combined together by conjun conjunction. We use, we use sentence, conjunction, and sen sentence. So, remember, the sentence that we use after conjunction, we call subordinate, subordinate clause or a subclause, you see, or dependent, dependent clause. Uh, I can show you about this. You can see this one we call man clause, okay? And from four, from four we call subordinate clause or dependent clause. Because this sentence, she stays far away, mean we plus with conjunct, conjunction four. So from four to away, it is subordinate clause. So everyone, do you understand? The simple way about 
preposition and conjunct conjunction. So this video, I hope everyone will enjoy learning